Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can schedule social media posts via the mobile apps. Yes, it is now possible to schedule and publish social media posts while you're on the go. So if you're walking along the beach and if you're really inspired and you just really want to get that message out, you can do so right now. All right, first let's log into the mobile app. Make sure it's updated so you have access to everything. Click on the hamburger menu on the three lines top left and then this menu pops up and you can see social planner at the very top. Click on that and ta-da, here is your social planner in the monthly view right now. If you wanted to change that, click on the little grid icon here and then change it to weekly view or list view. So let's click weekly view. That's the weekly view. And then list view would look like that. Now at the top, you can see all the accounts that have been connected to this particular location, to this particular account, so to speak, right? So you can see these need to be reconnected. But if you wanted to add an additional account while you're on the go, you can do so too. Just click the plus sign then select your platform Then you have to log into Facebook if you want to connect Instagram, for example, and follow the wizard from there. And then you have to log into Facebook and grant lead connector access that they can access your data, basically. Now, if you need to reconnect an account, you will see that little arrow here. Just cl simply click on that. And again, you will have to log into that specific platform where you're looking to reconnect and follow the wizard from there. Let's sign into LinkedIn real quick. You're successfully logged in. You can now close the browser. Let's do that. And ta-da, you can see the LinkedIn accounts have been reconnected. Amazing. So the social planner on the mobile app allows you to connect six different platforms. Facebook, Instagram, Google My Business, TikTok, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Now let's go back to monthly view. And here you can see down here today, there is no particular post scheduled. Let's go back to yesterday. You can see this one has failed because that is an old post. You can't post into Facebook groups anymore, for example, right? Let's just say we want to create a new post while we're on the go. Let's click that plus button, bottom right. Let's say you want to post on LinkedIn. Select the account, scroll back to the top, hit create. What's on your mind? This is a demo post. Great. Click on post options to see what's up. Here you can add a follow-up comment. For example, your website.com, the link to your freebie, whatever you want to post right here, you can do that. Or even some more information about that particular content, that particular post that you've just added to, you know, to the post we're creating. Many people do that. So when people scroll through the feed and then there's already a few comments on the post, even though it's your own, it looks a little better. Let's hit apply top right. Then you can add media. So let's do that. You can take a picture from the phone. You can choose from gallery or choose from files. We will choose from gallery. Let's select this one right here. Then click on advanced settings. You can choose the category. What category would you like to post this post under? In case you didn't know, a category is just a category that you can create before you post, right? And then file each post beneath each category. And that way the tool could repost the previous posts that you have already posted in the past so that you can recycle your content. Because the truth is not everyone will see your posts. So why not recycle them? Why not repost them after three months, let's say, and restart the queue of the posting again? You can also directly create a new category right here if there isn't any that you like. In this case, we just leave it as is. Then next up, you can choose the tags. You can create a tag or choose one that you have already previously created. Let's select online coaching. Let's hit save. Let's hit post on the top right corner. Here you can select, hey, would you like to pause it right now? Would you like to save it for later? Would you like to schedule the post? Or would you like to schedule recurring posts? Let's schedule the post, okay? Let's say today and then let's say 6 p.m. and let's hit schedule top right corner. Nice. Now you can see that post shows up right here in our list as well. If you wanted to go back and you wanted to edit the schedule post, of course you can do that. Click the three dots right there, click edit and then edit your post. Okay, let's go back for now. Click the three dots again. You could also clone it if you wanted to clone it and then schedule it for another account, for example, for another platform, you could do that. Or if you wanted to delete it, just simply click delete. Yep. And also one thing I want to mention is at the top, you can see all my accounts. They are showing up because I have already connected them previously via the desktop version of our social scheduler. I haven't connected them via the mobile app. So if you have accounts connected inside of the desktop version, they will automatically show up inside the mobile apps as well. Now, you can also simultaneously post onto several different platforms at the same time, right? For this, let's do that real quick. Click plus. Let's select two accounts. 
let's scroll back to the top, hit create. And then here is the little toggle customized post. If you turn this on, you'll see the little icons showing up here, LinkedIn number one. And then if you click on Instagram, you can customize the content, particularly for Instagram. Now let's go back to the scheduled posts. Let's click the three dots. Let's click edit. Let's click post top right corner. And actually let's click post now. And here you can see it's in progress. After we've refreshed one more time, you can see it's been published. Now you see that little arrow here. You can actually click on that now since it's published and it will forward you to the post in the specific platform. Ta-da! Here we go. Here it is. And that's it already. This is how you can now schedule social media posts while you're on the go. I hope you like this feature and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.